Having constructed the main steering assembly with bag I, it's now time to move on to bag J. We will mount the steering assembly to the main front end and start bolting onto the main chassis. Time to start assembling the buggy to the chassis. A revised 4mm CNC hard anodized lightened chassis with this kit. Quality looks top notch as we'd expect from Techno, with the underside having a large number of countersunk screw holes for the large number of screws in kit bag J. So in this bag we have all the screws required for mounting the front end to the chassis, as well as mounting several other pieces in order to attach the steering linkage at the same time. So with that said, we'll crack on by placing the front body mount onto the plastic plate and securing into place from the bottom using a single 10mm flathead screw. No need to crank too hard here as we don't want to strip any plastic threads in the process. We're going to start with the front centre brace and with it in position on the chassis, we insert two 12mm flathead screws from the underside to secure it in place. Again we're going into plastic here so no thread lock required although don't over tighten enough to strip any threads. Next we move to our steering posts. These sit just above the front centre brace just installed and are secured using 10mm flathead screws fed in from the bottom using thread lock here since we're going into metal posts. With that done we can now bring in our front assembly and begin by loosening the front bumper mount since it will key into the chassis. And with the front end in place, we can turn the entire unit upside down and begin securing from the bottom. So we'll start from the rear with two 15mm flathead screws straight in, no thread lock required. The next two 12mm flathead screws. And finally the last two 20mm flathead screws. After which we can flip back over and tighten down that front bumper which grips and keys into the front of the chassis. And with that, the front assembly is now secure to the chassis. We're now ready to install the steering assembly constructed in the previous kit bag to the front end, simply by dropping the bell cranks down into the steering posts, making sure that the bearings are still in place. After which we position the top plate, and secure by using 10mm button head screws up front, a 12mm button head screw in the rear centre and another two 10mm button head screws on either side, bearing in mind these two are going into metal steering posts, so some thread lock is required. All that's left is to secure the steering links to the spindle arms. To do that, feed an 8mm washer through a 20mm steering link screw, which now feeds through from the bottom of the spindle arm, drop on another two washers included with this bag, and drop on the steering link, finally tightening into place using a lock nut. Repeat the same process on the opposite side, and secure with a lock nut. And with that, we're pretty much finished with kit bag J. The steering assembly is now in place, and as with all other parts, is completely free from any binding whatsoever. If you have any binding at this point you need to reverse and take a look at what's missing as it will only cause issues later. Otherwise the redesigned front end with new front camber links, new spindle carriers and new spindles is now complete. Time to move on to the rear with the next kit bag where the buggy will really start to take shape. 